paper. It is Monday, February 18th, I think. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but today, really good day. I'm getting ready to start a live show. So it's not really going to be a show. I'm just going to log into my website live, and you can come by and talk to me or say whatever you want to or talk about. Of course, you can talk, always talk about the Cowboys, so I will always talk about football and the Cowboys. Any other sports, politics, I'm a, I'm a um, political nut. Uh, any kind of thing that's used to see in the news or entertainment or anything like that, anything you want to talk about, just stop by and um and and we'll we'll talk about it on air there's a there's a phone number it is one three ten nine two nine seven zero six five so you call that number you can call in um and we we'll 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 talk for us for a second now I'm not sure how all this is gonna work because I'm just starting it today so your calls might not come through or I might not be able to hear you or whatever because I'm testing out software so basically this is beta week beta week. There's probably not going to be a lot, a lot of people th coming through because I'm not advertising and stuff like that. So this is beta week. Hopefully it comes out well. Um, as far as the races and everything, it's getting it's getting kind of nasty now, you know. Um, Hillary is, is is just punching Barack with all kind of accusations and this and that, which I, I uh, actually she has to do right now because there's a very small mathematical chance that she can pull this thing out. So she's got to do whatever she can, but it scares me that they're doing like a scorched earth policy. You know what I'm saying? Just destroying everything because she's making some accusations that could hurt the party in the general election. And, you know, I talked to some people the other day and we just don't know why she's saying such things. I mean, if you want to attack Barack, go ahead and do it, but don't attack him to where he can't win the general election because that's kind of like almost like wrong for the Democratic Party. So I just hope, you know, if something bad happens with, in, in her case, in Ohio and Texas, if she doesn't win by, you know, a huge, huge amount which she needs to win by, I hope she just steps aside and to know that the only other way that she could win this primary is by A, um, doing something that people would not be completely comfortable with, with the delegates in Florida and um, in Michigan, and B, uh, the super delegates overrule the people's vote of, with the pledge delegates. Those are the only two ways that she can really have a clean win, and both of those things would tear up the Democratic Party. So I hope she understands this, and I hope she doesn't scorch the earth too much during this, you know, this last few weeks of what do you call it, blitz, blitzkrieg throughout the um throughout the country. So um. That and then I watched the All Star game this weekend. I don't know if you, who who all likes basketball or whatever. I, I like that, but Dwight Howard put a Superman cape on and he was flying through the air with a dunk. Now, if you saw the the dunk live was just amazing. But go to NBA.com or or AP or wherever and find a still of him flying in the air like this with a cape on his back. You know, it's it's just sweet. It's just completely, completely sweet. All right, like I said, quick video. I'm going over there, starting a live show. It starts in like four minutes. Uh, I'm just going to be sitting there, probably uploading this video and all that kind of stuff. So stop by if you want to. www.johnshango.com Peace.